Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a co-host or an alternative host in a Zoom meeting. If you want someone else to be your co-host, to be the host with you, it can be more than one person by the way. Uh, or I'll give you an example, a practical example. If you're a um, personal assistant and you want your manager to be the host of a Zoom meeting and you yourself, you don't want to attend the meeting but you still want your boss to be the host in that meeting so you can define your boss as an alternative host schedule it in the calendar and he will be the host he or she will be the host and you won't even be there let's see how you can do that and by the way you can do that from the website and from the application that's even before the call obviously you can also do that during during a Zoom meeting. Let's see how you do all of these. So you go to, the, to your profile, you log in into your Zoom account, you go to settings, and then you click on in meeting basic or just look for co host. Make it faster here. And you can see here, first of all, you need to allow the host to add co-hosts that's if you want to do that during a call during a zoom meeting and now let's schedule a meeting you write the definition my meetings or whatever never mind the time And then here at the bottom, you see, first of all, you need to enable others to, to join before the host. And second, you here define alternative hosts. So you, you have here a comma separated list of uh, email addresses. So for example, let's say your manager's name is John, you write this email address here on at my company.com obviously you write your own email by the way you can add here more than one comma separated uh, list as I said but let's just do one and then just save it and obviously schedule it etc as usual and your manager or the other person whoever this email belongs to will be the co-host and you can do that as I'm showing right here even before the meeting starts by the way when you save it it will tell you in this example I just use a, a fake email address it will tell you if it's associated with a zoom account or not that's one option of doing it you can also do that from the application itself Again, at the bottom here and here you just set down at my company com. and if you want more than one you need to uh, click on uh, the semicolon and add another one let's say Henry at my And again, a semicolon, you can add as many as you want, even more than one. And obviously, just remove whoever you want. Note that if you do it from the application itself and not from the website, uh, the separator or the delimiter is a semicolon for adding more than one here. Whereas here in the uh, website, it's just a comma. at my company okay. so that's when you do it before the meeting during a meeting you can do it 
in at least two ways. One of them is you click on the participants here and you'll open up this. And then you click on the person. Let's say I want to turn John into the host or co-host. So I make him the host or the co-host here. That's one option. Let's close it. The other option is to stand on his uh, rectangle here and click here and make him the host or the co-host. And that's it. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to click on like and also subscribe to our channel to get more videos and updates. Bye-bye.